Thanks for joining me today. This is Danny and welcome to my real tech series. Today we are going to be playing around with a couple of different mods to work on kind of being able to move around in our little area a little bit better. You can see I did do a little bit of work off camera. I've got a little trail going off in that direction. I got a bridge, which I did with some chisels and bits and some other items. And I also added a number of mods, um, including missing pieces and crafting frames, super crafting frames, magnetic craft, pressure pipes, flux redstone, just to kind of fill in some missing pieces that we kind of had in this pack before. But one of the main mods that I want to play with today is Thut's Elevators, because I w what I want to do is I want to build an elevator out there that'll get us to the top of that hill. Um, we've got a road going out there, and our plan in the future is to have a farm over there, and like a barn and some farms, and we'll probably use Steve's carts to automate some farms and such. And and then I'm going to have an elevator going up to the top, and then up there we're going to have like a factory, which we're probably going to be working on in the next episode, and that's going to be an immersive engineering factory. Actually, we might... We're going to do one of those two things in the next episode, but we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to build the elevator, and we're also going to use immersive engineering um, to set up kind of a zip line <laughs> to get us back down really quickly. Um, we could actually also go up with a zip line, but um, the I think the elevator will be pretty neat. So Thut's Elevators, to get started with it, all you need are these things to make your a very basic elevator. Because um, it only has three parts. And then we'll need whatever blocks we want to build the elevator out of, which can be just about anything. So we need an elevator block, and then we need a controller block, basically for each floor. So in our case, we're going to need two of those. And then the device linker, this is kind of the wrench of the elevator mod so that, that's what we use to um, set up to define the elevator basically and then actually we need to decide what we're going to make the elevator out of and I'm thinking we're gonna do some glass uh, panes probably I don't know how well this mod works with chiseled blocks and then I think we're gonna do some clay I've got a whole bunch of hardened clay because I did a little bit of exploring since the last episode, let's see, we are not really in a cave, we're in a house, but, and I headed off in this direction, I have actually never been in that direction before, because we spawned over here, and we've done a lot of traveling off in this direction, but I went over here, and I found a lush desert, another village, as you can see, and some regular desert, just like a strip of regular desert, and I managed to get some cactus from that, the first cactus I've got in this game, and I basically just took the boat around and then I walked through the mesa. There's a little bit of a mesa here. And it's actually kind of a neat area. But anyway, the lush desert had all this hardened clay. So I got a whole bunch of that. Um, but, oh, wait. But I think I want to die. <laughs> I want to die some of it. I got rid of my little um, gazebo out here, that thing that we were kind of living in in the beginning. Um, so we'll have to put something else there, maybe a nicer gazebo. But I had, oh, you know what I have to do? On our way out there, I also have Literal Ascension. Um, very nice little mod for getting up <laughs> places, like really easy ladders. We have this step ladder to crawl up, that we can crawl up. And what's so awesome about this thing, besides the fact that it kind of saves us from falling, like you always kind of, slowly descend from it which is pretty cool what's really great about it is that boop, boop. if we can just pick it up carry it around set it down pick it up it's so easy like we don't have to break it it's yeah it's so easy to work with here's my bridge i actually used um missing pieces that's another mod oh, i think i mentioned that already missing pieces gives us those little lamps and it gives us a couple different lamps, and then it also gives us slabs for a lot of different blocks. Or not slabs, wedges for a lot of different blocks. And then this course is all chisels and bits. Let's go build an elevator. Oh, I'm really hot. I guess I better not sprint. <sighs> oh no, winter's over. Oh crap, I was hoping we'd get this done before winter finished. So somewhere over here I want to have an elevator that goes up to the top. Engineer Skyhook. <laughs> Let's check this out once. Just for getting back and forth, this might actually... Does this work on these? It does. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. Kind of slow though. <laughs> nice. But I'm pretty sure that it does respect gravity. So if we have. Oh, ow. Oh, I wasn't even up that high. <laughs> so I'm just right clicking. I'm holding down the right click. And as soon as I let go, I dismount, basically. <laughs> nice. Started building the elevator platform up there. It looks a little silly, but we'll worry about making it look like it's supported in a bit. Um, <laughs> but I was getting tired of having to climb up and down this mountain as I was doing this, so... Check that out! That is so nice. That, that's the engineer skyhook from Mercer Engineering. So here's our platform. I put glass in the bottom because I thought that would be cool. <laughs> it can be any material. You don't have to have the same material like with the RF Tools ones. Um, furthermore, we don't have to stick with just a platform. We can actually have a structure. We can have a box. We can have like an elevator box. And that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to make it too high though. Oops. If I can place a freaking lock. And it can be pretty much any shape. I'm not sure what the maximum size is, but I know it's you can make it pretty freaking big. And you can have up to 32 floors. The elevator controller block is the block that we're going to use to select our floor. Um, what do I want to... I think I'm going to put this on this side. I didn't need to make this this big. Ah, whatever. Who cares? It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. When we click that with our device linker, the numbers are going to show up. Unfortunately, it shows 16 numbers right away. Actually, let's put this on both sides. So that way, when the elevator's not here, we can call it from over here. Because this will be stationary. That won't be a part of the elevator. Um, and then... And then we put another one on the bottom. Down here, I'm going <laughs> to not do that. Down here, I'm going to put that there and the elevator controller block. So we want an elevator controller block on each floor. I'm going to put this one right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the link device or device linker and click on this side and on that side. So again, when the elevator's not here, we can call it from here. And when we're in the elevator, we can go up to floor two from there. So this mod works a little differently than it used to. Um, we, now, to make the elevator, we take this device linker. We don't actually even have to have the elevator block in there. Um, we have to have elevator blocks in our inventory. So what we do is we right-click on one corner, and it'll say, set the first corner of elevator block to position, and then it's giving us the position of that block. And then we go to the furthest corner, and we see this red outline, and we click that. Oh, crap. No, we shift click that. Okay, so that's going to be our first corner, and then I'll go back over here and shift click, and then it's going to say, you need to have 20, L why is it saying 20 and 18? Wait, let's start over. So we right click here, we're, that's setting the first corner, and then you can see the red outline is following our mouse, <laughs> and if we click on, if we shift right click up here, it should then tell us you need to have 20 elevator blocks in your inventory to make an elevator of this side size and you need to have I don't know what that why it's telling why it's giving us two messages but but basically we have to have elevator blocks in our inventory um, for it to construct the elevator it's so cool over there at night it's a new moon so it's totally black where there is no light so you, you can see it, our little trail but I don't have any light up there yet We've got 20 elevator blocks and a device linker. So I'm going to right click down there. So we've set the first corner and I'm going to shift right click there. Hooray! Successfully made elevator. And it took all the elevator blocks out of my inventory. So now we take our device linker and click on the elevator. Wait, shift click on the elevator. And then we shift click on the floor. So this is the second floor. So this is now designated floor two. Uh, now we have to go down <laughs> and do the same thing down there. And hopefully this thing won't hurt us. This thing keeps hurting me. 
Like, I take, I'm taking fall damage when I'm not supposed to, and then sometimes it's acting like I'm inside of a block. But anyway, um, so this is floor one. So we shift right click on the number one. So now, there's our elevator. Oh, you know what? Our shaft isn't completely clear yet, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I gotta clear out the shaft. Okay, let's call the elevator. So we just right click on the one. And there it comes, hooray! <laughs> nice, oh, oh, I kind of messed this up here a little bit, didn't I? We have to move this over. Okay, so you can see we cannot edit the elevator now. I can't add blocks or remove blocks. Um, in order to disassemble the elevator, we're going to need a stick. <laughs> you can shift right click on it with a stick. <clears throat> or with a wrench from any other mod. It'll basically convert it back into blocks so that we can then edit it if you want to make it look different or whatever. And you'll see when we hover over it, it's entity thought tech lift. Uh, it's, it's actually an entity, which is interesting. Oh yeah, <laughs> darn it, I screwed this up. Okay, so we're gonna need a stick. I don't know if that's a bug or not. I'll, I may have to check into that, but it turns out every time you disassemble your elevator, you basically forfeit your elevator blocks. So be careful about that. So we'll right click up here, let's make sure the elevator is what we want so that we don't lose our elevator blocks again. I fixed that, that glass is broken there, okay so everything should be fine. So we shift right click down there and it stole our 20 elevator blocks and we now have a entity.thoughttech.lift.name, hooray! And this is an entity, in fact if we go down here you'll see, oh, at least before. Oh, okay. I was able to walk into it before. Oh, there we go. <laughs> if you're below it, you can walk right into it. Because it's actually an entity. And it doesn't... If you happen to be in the shaft when the elevator's coming down, it won't suffocate you. As you can see, you'll just you'll just be inside it, and then you can jump, jump your way out, or whatever. There it comes. Nice. So see how nice these are? I mean, they're... They're so, and they don't require RF. They're a little expensive to make, like probably more expensive than the RF Tools ones. But they ride so smoothly, you can make an actual box, and they don't require RF. But look at how smooth it rides. Nice. I suppose if you're on a laggy server, <laughs> it uh, it even quiver, it, like it slows down and like a real elevator. And yeah, it's it's very cool. I love it. And you can walk around inside it. Whoa, that was weird. But you do have to be a little careful about about walking off the edge because I did find I was testing this out in creative mode and I did find that I I was actually oh you know what when you shift you can't move that's weird maybe it's because I was in creative mode because I actually shifted t while I was walking around toward the edge and I fell even though I had shift oh yeah I can <laughs> nice. Can you walk on top of it? Yeah, you can. Cool. So now I just need to work on making it look a little bit nicer, but it's it's functional. <laughs> I should probably get rid of this <laughs> clump of dirt right here. Now we now we can actually watch it. <laughs> Man, that is so cool. It's such a nice, nice smooth movement. Very cool. All right, now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do to make this thing look nice. And you can actually change directions in the middle. <laughs> the only thing you can't do that I w wish you could is you can't put the elevator controller in the elevator. I tried that and I couldn't get it to, uh, it just became a part of the elevator and I couldn't configure it. Well, I've got a little frame <laughs> for it. And I use these blocks on the inside. So at least it's uniform, it's not all mixed up weird blocks and stuff so it looks it looks okay I'll probably make some improvements over time um, but right now I'm okay with it I was thinking I should probably have some kind of a crisscross pattern there for like support and stuff but oh I did take some fall damage as you can see <laughs> I was uh, yeah 
I was falling a lot, like just working around, you know, a little fall damage here and there. Oh, I wanted to test something. Oh, okay. It definitely doesn't that work. Oh. What? How did that end up? Whatever. Okay. I just wanted to see if we could actually interact with a chest. This is a crate, <laughs> but nope. It just becomes a part of the structure. I also found in my testing that doors do not work. I thought it would be nice to be able to have a door to the elevator, but they don't. The door just disappears, but it's still there. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of weird. It acts a little strangely. So, yeah, I remember when I was showing you before that you can walk right through the elevator when you're below it. Whoa, what? What the? Something weird just happened with my inventory. Oh, it's... What? <laughs> what the frick was that? Okay. <laughs> you saw that, right? That was weird. Um, so anyway, I was down here, like, placing blocks, and I walked through the elevator and fell all the way down, and I was down to, like, three hearts? I had a bit of an inventory mishap. I don't know what happened, but, like, my lunchbox just disappeared. I couldn't drink my canteen, which is why I have so few hearts, <laughs> because it just wouldn't let me drink it. So I don't know what was going on with that, um, but I ended up using my med kit to bring back one and a half hearts because I was down to half a heart. I thought for sure I was going to die. <laughs> and, and then my lunchbox just disappeared. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Of course, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and to join us next. Join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.